are you ready for the sexiness that's gonna happen now? <laughs> I need some more tea. <laughs> because you have way more energy than I do right now, and it's not fair. <laughs> Hello people, I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Char Kirk. Hello people! And we're looking at Garmi Song, Street Dancer 3D, Varun D, Nora F, Shrada K, Badsha, Neha K, Remo D, T-Series! So, we've got a little paragraph here, description thing. Presenting Garmi Song Composed and panned by Badsha, this foot-tapping soundtrack is sung by Neha Kakar Badsha. The movie features Varun Dawan, Shrada Kapoor, Nora Fatihi, Fatihi, and Prabhu Deva. In lead roles and directed by Remo D'Souza, produced by Bushan Kumar and Divya Kosla Kumar, Krishan Kumar, and Lizelle D'Souza. So, uh, releases January 24th. Wow. 20 more days. Or -ish. Oh, wow, yeah. So, very, very Coming excited soon. for this film. Very, In very. 3D, people. Very excited for this film. You oh. won't let me say it. I just want to say how excited I am. Oh, Alright, drink your tea, Jesus. I'm very excited for this film. And I hope you guys are too. Also, thank you T-Series for allowing us to react to this. Very, very, very much appreciate it. And very, very much looking forward to this movie. Here we go. What you're about to see is too hard to resist. Whoa. They were not kidding. Hot under the collar, Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. What? <laughs> That's cool. Nice. Holy Whoa. smokes! Oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm feeling a little... Oh, that's cool. I know kind of, I know what they're using for that. That's really oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I love that technique. But... That's really cool. Yeah. not lying when they said it was very hot. I'm feeling a little, you know. Yeah, we got some interesting, uh, dare I say, Western influence in there. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, I'm always reluctant to say that because then surely someone in the comments goes, we've been doing that for a thousand years. It's like, okay, there's definitely Western influence in there. I'm still deciding how I feel about that. But the the motion control, that's what it's called. Is It's a motion control uh, arm. And Marquez Brownlee, MKBHD, uh -huh. talked about that. I, I, know, I knew about it before him, but 
or before he talked about it, rather. Right. But those things are so precise. You can see them at like uh, trade shows for camera stuff, mm -hmm. and you see them moving. They can move on rhythm to music because it's, it's just all programming. Like they program with an Xbox 360 controller. Wow. And it's just so neat because it's doing stuff that the human body simply cannot. Right. Like it's moving with impossible precision. Like, right, yeah. You know, it's really, really cool. And you see it right there. And so it's all programmed to whatever people have told it to do. And that's why you're able, as a dancer, you're able to, you know where it's going to be every single time. And, and it won't make a mistake. Right. You know, the that's... only people who are making mistakes are the dancers, probably. Well, I, it strikes me that all those dancers are very professional, almost like. You have musicians for uh, classical, you know, scores for mm -hmm. films. They only play twice, generally speaking. Oh, really? Yeah, like they have one run through and then they have a backup. Right. That's it. They don't do multiple takes because they are that professional. Right. And you would never tell that kind of a composer to do it more than twice. And so he, these dancers are like, they're rehearsed, they, they know their stuff, especially Nora Fatahi. I feel like she is the queen of sexy dance right now because um, there was that one that... Did we watch it or was it just you on Patreon where she she was in that John Abraham movie and she's like, you know, belly dancing and stuff and she's just like, she's so sexy and she knows how to move and she can move her body and she's got a great body and it's just like, holy smokes, girl, like, calm down. <laughs> It's getting too hot in here, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a lot. That's certainly a skill set to be able to glide across the floor while you're moving your body that way. Well, I think she has a background in belly dancing as well, so a lot of it is that kind of midsection torso control, mm -hmm. and you really see that in her dancing. Like, and, and the thing that she does where she like drops back really low and then gets back up again, like... Right. That takes considerable strength. Right, well, and black, black, and black <laughs> flexibility, and back flexibility. Yeah, and and core strength and and everything. Right. Like she's really good. Right. You also got to give kudos to the background dancers as well for being in sync and whatnot. Yeah. And some of those shots are very crowded. You can imagine yeah. what it's like to be. You know, you. I don't know if they have air conditioning running or whatever when they're shooting and whatnot, but like you're in very close proximity to each yeah. other and dancing, and you're doing this over and over again in order to get the take that is needed and whatnot. So. Yeah, that sweat scene was real. They didn't even need to spray. They were already so hot from the dancing and the sexiness. It was like. Right. Yeah. No, I thought that was cool. Like, I, I really enjoy this because when you're making a movie and you know that it's going to be in 3D and you're very mindful of that fact and you kind of shoot it that way, it's really exciting to actually get to watch it in 3D. There's a comment that says, damn, it is too hot that I am cooking food in front of my monitor. Yeah. <laughs> For reals, though. That was, that was like a really hot hot video especially when she did that like floor thing i was like oh my God, that's that's very suggestive that's a very suggestive twerking movement you're doing right there i cannot i cannot deal okay it's it's too much it's, it's a lot but like it looked good <laughs> you know what i mean i'm just like i don't know how i'm supposed to feel about this it's just it's a lot of sexy it's a lot of sexy i liked it <laughs> i thought it was great I mean, I'm sure you did. It was, yeah, it was a lot. Uh, I mean, it was, it was a lot. Yeah. But I liked it. It was. It's a fun club bop as well, right? Yeah. Like I like that kind of. You know, it's interesting to me that you said the Western influence, which I think was more for the movement probably because it was very <laughs> probably. I can't huh. even talk. I'm like, ha. Huh. Words? This is, my brain just got fried like an egg on a hot concrete because I watched so this. Hot. It's so hot. It's so hot, guys. And I am actually very hot in my long sleeve top. Watching this video did not help. And so I feel like that's a lot of the movement is Western influence, but mm -hmm. I felt a sort of like Arabic... Uh, influence well, with, yeah. with the beat. The... I mean, there was a combination. It's a high. I, I should have corrected myself earlier. There is a heavy dosage of Western influence, but what's neat about this is how it's in combination with other stuff that yeah. India already makes use of. Yeah. Uh, in, in large quantities. Yeah. So, I can already it's see a weird this. Way to phrase it. But you know what I mean, club. right? Like it's it's the combination of cultures that's kind of fascinating. Yeah. Here. So I thought that's pretty cool. You know, I'm always interested in seeing that kind of stuff like even in in 
in the States. We've long been using Indian sounds in our music over here. Oh yeah. And But now you're seeing this rise of uh, K-pop sounds in our music as well. Like it's just this kind of hybrid of cultures because you know, it's pretty cool. That's yeah, all. I mean, people have been sampling tracks for ages. It's just often you don't know where they come from. And there's been times where now that I'm listening to more Indian music, I'm going, oh, that's the cool track that they sampled in so-and-so's song. You sure. know what I mean? But I had no idea what it was beforehand. I just thought it sounded really cool. Well, that was fun. You guys do let us know your feelings on that song, that video, the movement, on the floor is not just a great dance move, it's also a great way to, to clean your hardwood floors. So, oh, you know. oh yeah, the, yeah. I, I, I thought about getting on the table. I decided you guys don't need to see that. They want to see it. <laughs> I'm just gonna climb on here and be like. Yeah, but you could totally like clean the floors really, really well. You just gotta create a makeshift mop outfit of some kind, get a little wet and go shoot, shoot, shoot. Get a and, little and, wet, and then, you know, Move on the floor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was some article years ago that showed a baby who, like an infant in an outfit like that, and, and they asked, is this child abuse? I don't think so. Maybe it's gonna do what the baby does. This is cleaning the floor as it goes, you know? And so if you're working out to the, you know, doing the Garmy song, cleaning your, your dance, your floor, your dance floor, cleaning your floor, you might as well have an outfit like that on. So you clean and exercise like on your, on at the same time. Your elbows and your yeah. knees, maybe? And your hips. She was you, moving you her don't hips. really. I mean, yeah, you might, you might touch a little. Her thighs. Yeah, your thighs. Yeah, okay. Her shins. What I wonder is how much of that is toughing it out when I see moves like that. Like, how much is it hurting, and you're just doing it anyway? Because there are certain moves like that. I feel like in choreography, where it's like that doesn't feel great, but it looks amazing, and so you do it anyway. You know. Yeah, I'd have to go back and look at her outfit. I think she had her like knees and stuff kind of covered, so maybe it's. A little less uncomfortable. The first time I thought about that was in the behind the scenes of Matrix Reloaded when Lawrence Fishburne was talking about these shoes that the the costume designer made, who I actually met. She's really cool, and they, he said they were really uncomfortable, but they looked good, and so he just toughed it out and did these fight scenes in these super uncomfortable shoes. Yeah. And so I personally would bitch, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So. That's what I'm wondering is, in this stuff, like how much is it, like that back stuff, is it easy to do? Like she can do that all day long and it's not a problem or, you know, I'm just curious. Yeah, I don't know. You know these are questions I would have. Not, yeah. what's your phone number? Just like, is that hard? <laughs> so, <laughs> and then like 20 minutes into the conversation, then you're like, what's your phone number, girl? Yeah, I'll be like, what's, I'm gonna WhatsApp you. You guys, <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, thank you to T-Series for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Check out a chart, Kirk, on the social media, YouTube, all that good stuff. Jabs on Instagram if you feel like looking at some goofy photos and videos that I post from time to time, like once a month. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. I am Jabby Coy, this is... A Kirk. Peace out.